What's cracking, guys? Omar Isov here, Commander and Peach. I'll leave. That was bad. I'm honestly kind of embarrassed about that joke. Severin, take over. I have no doubt you'll do a good job, okay? Hallo, mein Name ist Severin und heute reden wir über, wie man Schweizer Käse macht. Also, so der beste Weg, wie man Käse macht, ist man muss. <coughs> Tip of the tongues, the lips, the teeth. Don't fuck this one up. Leanness. Everybody, they see it right now. They're like, damn man, it looks like you're 14 again, and you're right. Uh, I don't age. It's pictures of Dorian Gray style. Because I'm getting leaner, I'm getting a lot more questions in the DMs. We got the boys, no goyles, just boys asking questions, and I'm here for you guys. And I've been going through this process, and like I said before, it's been my most successful fat loss transformation recently. I'm near the end, but now looking back on the journey, I can impart some wisdom. And if I had to give one big advice that sounds simple, but please let it resonate inside your little soul would be to stay the course. If you want to get lean, if you want to lean down, you need to stay the course. Oh, you feel like shit? Stay the course. Strength going down? Likely still stay the course. Oh, you think you're looking worse? That's okay. Stay the damn course. <sighs> Getting stronger is very objective. Either you're lifting more weight or you're not. How your body looks when you're judging yourself is highly subjective. Sure, there's the weight, your proximate body fat percentage, arm measurements, so you do specific muscular measurements, but subjectivity is a huge role because it's how you regard your own body. And as you're dieting down, as you're getting leaner, as you're eating fewer calories, myself, I'm at 1850 calories this week. You start getting delirious, not thinking about food, but just you're taking a look at yourself and you're like, man, Am I actually getting leaner? You start doubting, you, you spend so much time looking at yourself, you start doubting the process. And really compounded on top of that, what makes this truly more difficult, I would say there's different ranges of leanness, meaning that between specific zones, they kind of look the same, and we all know this. We're above 20% body fat, so like, let's say like 18 to 23% body fat, and this is, those are just, you know, rough barriers. I'm not saying like, once you cross the 18% barrier, damn dog, you know. But if you've gotten leaner, you know what I'm talking about. 18, 23% body fat, you kind of look the same. You're looking at yourself and you're like, am I getting leaner? I just feel smaller, I feel weaker. Uh, I think I'm losing muscle and I'm not losing fat, right? That's what you think. And then once again, 15 to 18%, it's another zone right there where you begin to feel weaker, you feel flat, you think you're losing that muscle mass, but you reach past a point, you're like, okay, maybe my stomach's a little flatter. So the cost benefit analysis, it starts getting a little bit better. Below 15% body fat, so 12 to 15, 13 to 15 is another zone, then I'd say 10 to 12%, and then 10% where it's like, all right, like you're getting leaner. But throughout those different zones, there's times, every single fat loss block I've done so far, so this is my third three week phase, so nine weeks total, at some point when I'm getting depleted, I start feeling smaller, I start looking honestly smaller, and that's why you saw at Joey's place, the lion's den, when I'm looking and everyone's like, damn man, you look filled out, I'm doing the overhead press, everything looks good, like my muscles just look uh, full and I look lean. I just came off of maintenance, three weeks of maintenance, so I was, or two weeks of maintenance, so I was feeling really good and looking good. Now. Two weeks later, entering my final week, I had that uh, photo I posted on Instagram. You know, it got good feedback. We see the ab definition definitely coming in. But overall, the muscularity, what's the big difference between me looking jacked a few weeks ago and right now looking a little bit flatter and maybe a little bit leaner? Well, again, what I'm currently eating, how training is going, my overall mood, cortisol levels. When you're losing a lot of weight, cortisol kind of starts getting jacked up and that's why you can retain and hold on to water. You're physically, in an absolute sense, leaner, but you can look worse. And again, I'm gonna state that once again because it's an emotional process, and actually, honestly, I've been trying to help some of you guys out on Instagram because it's been fun partaking in this journey and then reflecting back to you guys, is that you can get leaner and not physically look leaner. In other words, you can have a more favorable body composition, but it doesn't equate itself to how your physique looks. You've gotten down in body fat and you've adhered exactly to what you should be doing, but you look worse. And that is why, what I said at the start, where I said the five second summary, if you want to lean down, you got to stay the course. One of the biggest barometers to judge how you're doing would essentially be how training's going. If you went from a 350 pound bench press to a 250 pound bench press over 12 weeks, yeah, you're probably too aggressive with your fat loss. Me, my strength has gone down proportionally to my weight. 
uh, which means that you know, I've lost, uh, uh, let's say, approximately 10% of my body weight, and my bench press has gone down less than 10%, so actually a relative strength is still exactly there. If not, I'm stronger from a relative standpoint, which is pretty cool. Um, but if you notice that your strength is dipping down, that's one of the big red flags. So I'm not saying you should stick with it no matter what. If you have a lot of life stress, you get you lose your job suddenly, something traumatic happens to you, should you compound on top of that, uh, on top of that the extra stress of trying to get lean? I would argue definitely not. But for those out there that are doubting themselves, this is the first time they've tried to get leaner, they notice they're getting weaker in the gym, they feel subjectively they're not looking better when they take a look at themselves in the mirror. They're like, oh, like, oh, check, the, oh, I, um, you know what, I'm looking flatter, what the fuck am I doing this for? That's also kind of, I think, an aspect of yourself that wants to give up. And so you need to stay the course, you need to take those photos, and you need to get to where your goal is. So don't become attached to a preconceived notion. If you've never gotten lean before, you don't know what you're gonna look like. And I could tell from some of the positivity of some of the comments and how I personally feel, I honestly think I look better than what I thought I was going to when I leaned down. So keep all those variables in mind. The truth, if you wanna get lean, is that you need to stay the course, and in the end, you will emerge victorious. I gotta get out of here. Hope I don't ramble too much while I'm currently consuming negative 35 grams of carbs. You've heard of a ketogenic diet. I'm doing the uh, breatharian diet. I essentially just breathe oxygen, that's all. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, make sure to like the damn video. And I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next one. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.